Hey Cancers, this is going to be your monthly love reading for December. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If this reading doesn't resonate for you guys, then I advise you to go ahead and check your Moon and Rising signs. If it still doesn't resonate for you, then it's probably not for you. Um, so don't try to make it be okay. It's just that, you know, it may not be for you this time. Somebody else here may need to hear a message um, more this week, okay? Or this month. But I'll be putting out other readings. I've been a little behind because I've had some other things going on. But um, I'm trying to get it together. Especially my internet service is horrible. So I've got somebody coming out here shortly. Try to get me together. Alright guys, let's see what's, where you guys are coming from in the past here first. Let's see. For my cancers. Ooh, the lovers. Lovers, lovers, lovers. Hmm. Lovers always calls for a decision um, to be made. And it's either you choose to go on by yourself or you choose to go on with somebody else, somebody that you feel very um, passionate about, somebody that you feel like, you know, you felt like you belonged with, you know, and um, along with the Six of Cups, you know, it's somebody that really had your focus in the past. Um, we have Gemini energy, Scorpio energy here, Scorpio moon, um, Scorpio sun rather, I'm sorry. And um, some of that had your focus a lot. And I feel like, you know, in the past, this was your person. You felt like this was a situation where... Um, you guys were meant to be. You felt like they were your destiny. This was a faded, faded relationship, faded event between the two of you. But there was a lot of arguing, a lot of arguing, a lot of, you know, conflict between the two of you, um, conflict within each other, like within your separate selves about, you know, where do we go from here? Where are we going? And I feel like that was probably, that was probably like, you know, the main focus of the arguments and the conflict was you like, where are we going? You know? I feel like this um, this person that you're dealing with, and it could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Um, they see that the other person is two different two different things here. When you guys were together. People looked at you as like they wanted to be you, like one of the kind of relationship that you guys had. And I, I'm thinking that, I'm feeling that you guys presented well when you were together. Even throughout the conflict and the arguments that were going on behind closed doors, you guys still presented well to, you know, the outside. And I also feel like I 
I feel like Cancer, you feel like this other person could be a Leo as well. Um, like this person gets a lot of attention. Like they're wanted. Like, you know, people are, a lot of people are really looking at them, wanting to date them, you know, want to be around them here. And you were very passionate. Not only were you passionate about this person, you really felt like they were the person for you, but you saw yourself with this person like for the long haul here with the 10 of cups. Let me put these cards down. With the 10 of coins rather, and the king of cups. You saw yourself with this individual for the long haul you know, setting down roots, um, just being very humble and looking at where you've come from and where you guys, you know, were when you were in this connection. It's like you were safe with them. You felt safe with them. I don't, I think this person even though you felt safe and you felt grounded and you felt rooted with this person, I don't think that emotionally they, they were all that you needed then though. I don't feel like they were all that you needed. At least you felt that way in the connection while you were actually in it. Lots of arguments, lots of, of, you know, questioning, you know, do you really love me? Are we going to be together? Are we going to get married? Are we going to take this relationship to the next level? Because you truly felt, look at that. Oh, okay. I'm going to take that one. You truly felt that... This person was your one and only, and you found them. You found them. Queen of Swords here. Knight of Wands. I feel like now could have an Aries here. Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Sagittarius energy. I feel like, you know, this person you look at them as being non-moving, like regardless of how you present your case, how you tell them, you know, I feel this way. I feel like, you know, I'm not feeling loved enough. I don't feel like you're expressive enough. I feel like they don't receive it that way with the emperor because the emperor basically knows all. And I, and I just feel like you know, you let a lot of things slide in the past because you're showing up here as the Queen of Swords. I feel like this is you. That you let a lot of things slide in the past, but now it's like you're no longer um, doing that. You're no longer doing that. And I think, you know, the individual that you're dealing with um, is realizing that maybe, you know, things weren't so well. Maybe I did contribute to the downfall of this relationship by not telling my cancer that, you know, I love them 
or by not spending time with the with my cancer like I should have maybe I didn't give them enough attention um, and they're wanting to come in and make it right they have this energy about them that they you know they want to come back um, you know of course whether or not they do is a different story but that's the energy that's here and I feel like they were very in um, they they kind of kept you on eggshells before but now you're deciding you know what mm -mm. no what is what is eggshell yeah oh wow 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 we have the four of cups with the four of wands clarifying the emperor who is non-moving stubborn only takes into account his point of view is what i'm saying here because four is a very stable energy and i feel like this person is just holding on to what they deem as uh, stable, like within themselves. They're holding on to it. Um, they're not looking, looking at, I don't feel like they're looking at anybody, honestly. I feel like they're more focused on not thinking about what this connection, you know, really is. Like they're just gazing off into la la land, just missing everything that's going on around them. But at the same time, they think about what you guys had. And I feel like they want it. Like they, they want to be back with you. They want to be with you. They want to have everything with you. The Ten of Pentacles, um, the Ten of Cups that we see here under the bottom of the deck. They want it, but they are way too fixated on keeping power. They want to be the king of coins. That's what they feel in their heart with the high priestess. They, they intuitively know that you're the one. You're who they want to be with. They want to take care of you. They want to be compassionate and share their love with you. Like, you know, have a real connection, a solid connection. Not just, you know, passionate, but something that's very genuine you know they they want that but i think their ego is really getting in the way here and you know you you know how you know where you're going. You know exactly what it is you want to do. I think you were really confused before on whether or not to let go of this person. And I think that you have decided that that's what's best is for you to walk a different path, to go in a different direction. I think you have decided your path. But I don't think you have counted this person out. I just think that you, you're not focused on this person. You're not focused on, you know, us getting back together. I feel like you reminisce about it. You know, you guys had good times together. You felt like this was a really strong connection and it was. And it is. Even though you guys are not physically together, it still is a very solid, like, deep connection
deep connection. And I feel like, you know, you have a plan. Not only do I feel like you have a plan for your life without this person, but I feel like, you know, you do have different opportunities that you can explore. And you're standing your ground here. You're standing your ground. You're no longer indecisive. Because this card, the Hierophant was stuck on top of the Two of Swords. I didn't even realize it. Because you're no longer. You're no longer like going back and forth thinking about, oh my gosh, you know, if I, if I allow somebody else in my life, then this other person's not going to, you know, be able to come back. There's not going to be any room for them. At this point, you don't really care like that. You know, if somebody, if you meet somebody else and that person is good for you, I think you're rolling with it. And that is what you realize that you cannot sit back and wait on somebody else to decide your fate. You know, you have to keep moving. You have to keep it moving. And I think, you know, that's why this page is showing up because you are learning that. And I think you were so focused on, you know, relationships and how other people felt that you were almost neglecting yourself and what it was that you needed. Okay. I also feel like, you know, this is an apology. I feel like this person really does want this stability as well. And I feel like, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of making them a little confused especially when they thought they had all these different options before by being so stubborn okay let's see where you're going oh Leo card we have more air here and we have the nine of coins I see you standing strong. I see you standing very, very strong. I see you not, not allowing somebody to determine how you feel, determine what you do, determine how you move from here. Because I see this Knight of Swords realizing that you are something to be reckoned with. This person sees you as being very strong, very determined to take control of your own life. They see you as a very important person in their life. But this is something that they have just come to realize and want to do something about. Here you are as a nine of coins. Very secure in yourself. I don't see you like really wanting to go out and date. Now, not saying that if, if the you know, if an appropriate date comes towards you that you won't take it. But I don't see you eagerly like awaiting a suitor here. I just see you trying to get your footing and start over after, you know, all of this happened with this other person over here. Getting your emotions in check realizing that, hey, I, I have to start looking out for myself, taking care of myself, taking advantage of the opportunities that are presenting themselves right now in my life. Yes, Ace of Wands, Queen of Cups, wanting to start over. Wanting to start over, being very balanced and secure in who you are, not letting anyone determine how you feel, taking back your power. I also feel like, you know, could possibly be a water sign that is 
wanting to start wanting to approach you with something different. I almost rang it. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> yeah, somebody's wanting to approach you with something different. Um, but I, I tell you what I see. Tell you what I see here. I see this person changing from the King of Cups to the Queen of Cups, male or female, because the Kings are a controlling energy, okay? And I feel like this King of Cups was really controlling you know the relationship itself like they had most of the power in the relationship okay and I, that was in the past but now I feel like this person's coming in as a queen of cups who is just a lot more just feeling you know just just letting things be more relaxed and you know flowing balanced out And I think this person is realizing in the near future that, you know, what has worked in the past is not going to suit you now if you want things to turn around. And I think they're coming to that realization. Yeah. Judgment and the Six of Swords, clarifying the Knight of Swords here. You know, making a decision to, you know, leave all the negative things, leave the arguments behind, leave the conflict behind that is, you know, null and void, not important. Just starting off on a new footing you know here with the judgment card and the six of swords it's like deciding to leave that bullshit behind let go of it just let go of it and i feel like that's what they're they're working on doing and that's what's coming out here in the near future you know i just when I when I do these cards and I read, you know, the energy is such that, you know, a lot of people want to come back and a lot of people do. But there are also those people that, you know, still allow their ego to completely take over and they just don't put forth the work. And so that's why a lot of times, you know, people will say, you know, this person's been coming back for a while that's because that's what their energy is really you know wanting to do that's what they're they're presenting that's what they're feeling it's just if they actually take action on what they're feeling you know so yeah a lot of endings here a lot of tens i'm seeing something is something is shifting i do feel um, cause we have the 10 of wands and the, oh no, that's a nine of coins. So we do have the 10 of coins up there, <clears throat> excuse me. And then we saw the 10 of cups under, um, the bottom. But anyway, we have the 10 of wands clarifying the nine of coins and the seven of swords. So what this is telling me, cause if you look at these cards, we see this person looking back that they're going this way. This is you, what you're feeling, the 10 of wands. 
you're no longer willing to fight for this connection with this person that's done, that's done for you. You're not actively fighting for this connection anymore. But this person that deceived you, that manipulated you, that stole from you possibly, they're coming back. Because when they did whatever they did to you, they hurt you. They knew when they were doing it, how they did it, that it wasn't right. So they're wanting to come back and fix it. Now, the thing is though, because I feel like, I feel strongly that this is something that's going to happen for a lot of you that they will actually come back. I don't necessarily feel like they're gonna come back the way that you need for this person to come back. I feel like it's going to be self-serving when they do come back. And what I mean by that is, it's something that's going on in their life or something that's not going on in their life that is bringing them towards you Physically, they already think about you, but it's something traumatic that happens in their life that's going to bring them back towards you. Okay, so keep that in mind. So use your discernment when this person presents themselves and um, just make good decisions for yourself. Okay, and Cancer, that's your reading for uh, December, and I'll be speaking with you soon.